to the very best of Squared Circle Live. I'm Dustin Perry, and you just saw the Young Bucks win the Squared Circle Live Royal Tag Team Championship. Now they're gonna be defending those titles at Golden Hearts 2014, September the 7th in Scarborough, Ontario. On this episode, we're gonna determine the number one contenders for those titles as Aeroform takes on the fraternity. Hold on a second. The fraternity, before the bell officially starts this contest, jumping Aeroform, they know what is at stake here. As you heard the ring announcer say, oh, this is a number one contendership for the Square Circle Live Royal Tag Team Championship. The champions, Matt and Nick Jackson, the Young Bucks, won those titles from Aeroform. And in order to get that title match, they defeated the fraternity in the same night. Now, obviously the fraternity were trying to make a name for themselves. And as they are probably trying to do here as well. Well, not probably, certainly are. And they're just not doing too well for themselves at the moment. Well, hold on, wait a second here. What are they thinking? Aeroform, you know, they live up to their name. They like to fly sometimes. Keep your eye on Kendrick. Acai Moonsault. Taking out both members of the fraternity. Well, both members are in this match. You'd see Channing Decker holding the cricket bat. I'm not sure why he carries around a cricket bat, obviously, to hit people with it. I mean, if you ask him that, he'll probably deny it. He's that kind of guy. But the fraternity, they were, in terms of points, the number one contenders for the Royal Tag Team Championship. They were a little annoyed that they hadn't got their opportunity against Aeroform. As Flip Kendrick comes flying in the ring, goes for a cover. Only gets a two count. You know, they were annoyed. They were upset. And perhaps, rightfully so, that they should have been in the position that the Young Bucks were in. Now, the Bucks didn't have an actual championship opportunity. They were in the main event against the champions. Oh! Fantastic double-team maneuver there by Aeroform. Cover again. Look at Decker trying to get in there. So what the fraternity did, they said they will put up all of their points that they have amassed over the past few months. Just for the opportunity to wrestle in the main event against Aeroform. The Young Bucks came out, defeated the fraternity, and you know what? The fraternity just had a match. It wasn't like they came out of the locker room fresh like the Young Bucks did. Fraternity lost those points to the Bucks. The Bucks then went on to their main event match against Aeroform, cashed in the points, won the tag titles, and now here we are, Aeroform versus the Fraternity to determine who is the number one contender to face the Young Bucks. That match goes down September the 7th in Scarborough, Ontario. A show that also happens to feature Brett the Hitman Hart. It's kind of a big deal for us. It's going to be one of the biggest shows that you will see this year. Make sure you get your tickets now at SquaredCircleLiveWrestling.com. Hold on. Flip Kendrick. Perhaps going for a DDT there, but gets caught by both Decker, or excuse me, by both Gibson and Montague. He almost got thrown on top of Decker there. Gibson puts the boots 
to Lewis Linden. You know, these guys are rookies. Make no mistake about it. The fraternity have not been in that ring for very long, but these guys are fantastic athletes. These guys have it. You hear that a lot. About maybe they don't have the most experience, but there's something about these guys that exudes greatness. I might have made that word up. And they dropped the Eiffel Tower on top of Lewis Linden. You know, these guys are going to be something special, and they have an opportunity to do that by defeating the former champions, Aeroform, here tonight, and then going on defeating the Young Bucks. Not only are they great athletes, and not only do they have the crafty and cagey Channing Decker on the outside, but these guys, they're from the Ivy League, as they say. They are intelligent young men. I don't care how smart you are when you're kicking the face, you're hitting the mat. Linda's created some separation here. Almost made it to Kendrick. Not quite. Ooh. Stiff the forearm. Oh, blocked. Beautiful kick. Both men are down. Flip Kendrick is dying to get in there right now. It's live capacity crowd is trying to get behind Aeroform. Trying to get Lewis Linden over to his partner, but Montague, Montague's already trying to get in the ring. And he knows, see, that's what he, that's, whoa, hold on, the over the top rope. Montague to the floor, there's the tag. Flip Kendrick, flying through the air. Well, Flip Kendrick is all fired up. Kendrick, big elbow. Asking for the support of this crowd. Up and over goes Kent. Look at the, that's why they call him Flip. Flip Kendrick flipping all over the place. Flip a bit more. Kendrick with the cover. And Montague in with a save. Just and Montague like when he comes in there to break up a pinfall, he doesn't just take one shot at you. He'll take four or five. Yeah, nasty shot there, though. Look out, Gibson. Oh. That's going to hurt your throat. Whoa, and so will that! Lewis Linden flies over the top and catches Gibson. Oh! In stereo, Gibson just got his face rearranged. Kendrick with a multiple revolution springboard splash. But unfortunately for Aeroform, Montague is still in the ring. Now don't blame the referee here. I, I don't think Montague was even vertical for very long for him to be able to get him out of the ring. Tag made. Here comes Linden. Hold on a second. Montague saving his partner. And there goes, wow. It's a nasty spill there. Hope Linden's okay. Ooh. Nasty boot right to the face. Flip Kendrick is reeling. Uh -oh, we've seen this before. Just total destruction is what that is. He's legal, get him. He's the legal one. You can hear. Decker on the outside, and that's what Decker brings to this match. He's yelling, he's legal. He being Lewis Linden, yelling that Linden's a legal man. That you can do all the double team moves you want to flip Kendrick. Linden's the guy you need. And Montague with a dirty looking backbreaker. Gibson thinking here, springs in, DDT. That could do it. 
for cover two. No. Only two. Look at the look at the look in the eyes of Trent Gibson. Not only does he look lost, but almost confused with what he needs to do to make the fraternity number one contender to take on the Young Bucks, September the 7th in Scarborough, Ontario, SquareCircleLiveWrestling.com to get tickets. Oh, Flip Kendrick with the save, like an insiguri to the back of the head. Linden trying to control the body. Oh, there goes Flip Kendrick! Flipping over the top rope. Oh, De Decker's on the apron. Just struck Trent Gibson. And Gibson just got struck again. Oh, Gibson's in trouble now. You know what? We finally did it. We won. We beat Fred. We are the number one contenders. Huh? Young Bucks, we'd have a hell of a match in July. Yeah, we did. We did. We lost. What? But you know what? Come September 7th, Young Bucks, Era Form, one more time. The end's gonna be a little different. Era Form, Royal. We Tag going, Team Champions! We are going to flip the script, son. Get those titles. Welcome back to the very best of Squared Circle Live. We're going to jump in our time machine now and do a Squared Circle Live rewind as Brett Money Banks takes on the original player from the Himalayas, Sanjay Dutt. And 
And on to our semi-main event match between international superstar, TNA superstar. This guy is as decorated as it gets. Sanjay Dutt against, well, one of Squirt Circle's finest and most decorated superstars and Brent Banks. As mentioned, he is your Adrenaline Cup winner this year. This, this man has been a big time player here, winning all the main events, winning all the big four-way main event features, featuring other superstars from other promotions. This guy is the real deal. Doesn't lose too often here. Home court for Brent Banks. Fast pace startup. Neither man getting the advantage point. Counter after counter. Tiger roll through by Sanjay Dutt. Both men with arm drags. Face to face and the crowd is appreciating this. Neither man can get one step ahead. You know what? These two share similar styles and that, that is a key factor. Both high flyers with a nice technical background. The, the crowd's clearly 50-50 here. And what was up with my colleague, my commentary partner, James Corderas, coming to the ring, not doing his job and staying up here? Offered Sanjay Dutt a chance to join the one percenters? Sanjay refusing James Corderas' offer. A wise choice? Not sure. Back in the ring, Sanjay going for a modified STF hold. Brent Banks wisely making his way to the ring. And yet again, sign of sportsmanship as Sanjay Dutt retreats to his corner. This is a big time match for Brent Banks and I'll tell you why. Brent Banks has been consistently a main eventer here in Squirt Circle and quite frankly all over North America. It is no longer okay for him just to be in main events. This man has to win main events. This man has to beat people who have been established. Brent Banks has beaten the Tyson Dukes's. He has beaten the Michael Elgins. He's beaten yours truly. It's time for him to step one-on-one -on -one and continue his streaks against the likes of the El Genericos, the Sanjay Dutts. Sanjay keeping Brent cornered. Yet again, both men showing counters. Neither man can get the clear advantage until now. That is your first game changer. Brent Banks with the missile drop kick from the top ropes. Looking for a dive here. Suicide and lands on his feet. Brent Banks is in full control. I wouldn't be surprised if Brent Banks cheated this match, like the match of his career, studying Sanjay Dutt. Did Sanjay Dutt study Brent Banks? Or did he come into this match taking this opponent lightly? Action spills back into the ring. Brent Banks with the cover. No legs hook with an opponent like Sanjay Dutt. Again, Brent Banks has to hook a leg. Yeah. 
Match slowly getting more physical. Kicks to the back, kicks to the face by the old starter. Brent Banks clearly showing that he wants an early win, not taking any chances against this renowned international superstar. Vintage Brent Banks in my best impression of Michael Cole. Brent Banks fully in control. Sanjay Dutt is definitely caught off guard. And now Brent Banks has Sanjay Dutt cornered. Crowd rallying behind Sanjay Dutt. Will that make a difference? Once again, Brent Banks is home court advantage tonight. Snap her and Kimrana by the player. Cover. Just a one. Now the player from the Himalayas in control. And he's receding Brent Banks with some kicks of his own. Action spilling to the outside where Sanjay Dutt is clearly in control. This could be a turnaround that will not work in the favor of Brent Banks. A lot of action on the outside tonight, if you've noticed. A lot of big time matches tonight, and that's the big key factor. A lot of tonight's competitors want the win. They will do what it takes. Sanjay Dutt treats Toronto like a second home. Made his mark with UWA, made his mark with the Squirt Circle team in the past. He loves being here, he loves the fans here, and he loves the competition here. Sanjay Dutt showing some disrespect. Is he underestimating the All-Starter? Spitting water in his face. Banks not showing any appreciation for the water spit. And Sanjay Wiser retreating back to the ring to buy some time. And there we go. Showing the experience that he has. Big whip. Elbow follow up. And what is Dutt planning next? Not going for the pin. Two on the cover off an impressive moonsault. Modified off a slingshot. The crowd receptive to Sanjay Dutt. No doubt this talented high flyer is well received wherever he goes. Brent Banks yet again finding himself in trouble. Interesting to note. Sanjay Dutt does not go for the pin after one move. He seems to be throwing a combination of moves which shows his ex experience. He knows it's not easy to get a three count against big time players. Reverse whip. And Zagiri kick by the All-Starter. Following it up. Oh! -ho! Brent Banks has put away a lot of opponents with his spiral cross body. But Sanjay Dutt is not just any opponent. He will have to resort to more than that. Slice spread possibly. Maybe a submission. Brent Banks is clearly thinking, what does he have to do? Sizing up his opponent. Sanjay Dutt is in trouble. Slice bread. We talked about it. Reverse after reverse yet again. Big clothesline by Brent Banks. And Sanjay follows in with that big Yakuza kick. 
This could be it. Exploder! Exploder! Almost lost his footing on the springboard, but Sanjay managed to get a 360 leg drop of sorts. Could have been going for the senton. Brent Banks is lucky. If Sanji that had his footing, maybe that would have been it. Maybe that would have been the three count. But that's the big risk or reward factor with high flyers. Moves like that win you matches, but they can also cost you matches. And Brent Banks knows that just as good as Sanjay does. Sanjay going for his own standing. Slice bread. Tombstone reversal. A little too cocky. Oh! What was that? And Brent Banks isn't done. Again with the counters. Who will capitalize in this match? Blue Thunder. One, two, three. No! Brent Banks looking at the referee, possibly pleading for that three count. Again, Sanjay Dutt is not just any competitor. As good and as well known as he is, he is still underrated. This man is one of the best. He is one of the most traveled, one of the most seasoned. This man still trains to this day. It will take more than that for Brent Banks and a slice bread might just be the answer. Forearms by the southpaw, followed by forearms preceded by Sanjay Dutt. Strikes being traded. Who is going to come out on top here? Crowd thoroughly into this match, loving every second of it. And yet again, Brent Banks cannot create that distance with Sanjay Dutt. It has always cost him. Reversals, German, no! Sanjay with the innovative pin? Incredible! Another two count. Both men look like they had it. Sanjay off the ropes. Underhook DDT. Sanjay Dutt not done going up top. Crowd behind Sanjay Dutt. This man is very innovative from the top rope. Big moves up to the knees. Small package. Oh! It looked like Brent Banks had it there. Incredible counter, and he stayed on him with the small package cradle. Brent Banks is no slouch himself. That was an impressive counter by the All-Starter. Still can't get the slice bread. But James Cordaris, why is my partner still out there? I thought he was kicked out. Grant Banks vaulted to the apron. Both men still focused on each other despite Cordaris' appearance at ringside. Referee, referee! Cordaris had it, Sanjay's leg. Sanjay's not even hurt. Look at Sanjay. Sanjay's confused. The winner of this match is number one contender for the Red Banks isn't aligned with Corderas. Sanjay Chase and Corderas. Corderas and Banks have their history with Pepper Parks. We just saw Brent Money Banks picking up the victory thanks to his former agent, James Corderas. Now, Brett Banks will be in action next week as he takes on TD to Darius Thomas. Also next week, psycho Mike Rollins goes one-on-one -on -one with Ricky Reyes. Thanks for joining us for the very best of Squared Circle Live. We'll see you next week.